Um, thank you for joining me today. I'm really happy to have you. Um, this sermon is called False Updates. Um, this week, a very strange thing happened to me. Um, on on Monday night, I Windows said there's an update, and they were updating. So, so they updated. And for those of you who don't know, I have special programming on my computer um, that makes things bigger and. Um, that magnifies things, and another program that does speech recognition. So, so Monday, I did all, I did this update thing, and then, so Tuesday morning I woke up, and there was, um, so, first of all, the screen was black, and second of all, the program that magnifies everything, it wasn't working. So, for the past week, even now, I've been operating on a system that is smaller that the print is so uh, mini, mini small that it's hard to see. So even now, I can barely see the um, the camera, but I'm st I'm still here and I'm still preaching. And this and this had me freaking out the whole week week and I'm like how am I gonna do my groceries helping how am I gonna speak to the people this week and all I can think of is um false updates so if I could title this um, I would call this sermon false updates and I'm going to ask you an important question. Have you ever thought something would be an update, but then it turns out to be a disaster? Um, and, and the Lord says today, I'm reversing the false updates. Hallelujah. I, I feel that. He says, I'm reversing the false updates updates so he said you know he said you may be discouraged today like you thought you would be getting something uh gr great you thought what you'd be getting something new but it turned out to be a disaster for example you thought um dealing with this pandemic would just give you a needed break and wonderful time with the kids but you no, you notice that you are getting stressed out, that you are just like, um, well, some of the kids are going back to school, but for those who haven't gone back to school, you're like, oh, these kids won't get out of my hair, I love them, but all they do is eat and ask for mom, mom, can we have this, but you suck. You thought this update, this break is supposed to make things better, but it actually made things worse. And like my computer, you, you can't see clearly things. And uh, even to this week, I've been, I've been kind of feeling, kind of knowing where things are because I know my computer really well, but without seeing clearly, I'm never really sure. And the Lord says today, he says, I'm reversing the update that, that was bad. He said, he said, all of this, all of these issues that you're having, he said, today 
if you would believe me, I'm reversing the update. He said, I'm reversing the update. And thank you, Lord, for reversing our bad updates. Some updates we we get get into ourselves and we screw up our own uh, lives with them. I remember one time a few years ago, um, I, I had a music program, oh, a DVD program, and after watching a Britney Spears DVD, I think it was Crossroads, I clicked close, but it was the close with the X on it. And so when I click close with the X on it, it, and I went back to play another DVD, it wouldn't play because that close with the X on it meant it wasn't the same thing as you click close, whatever. It was, uh, you closed it pers uh, permanently. So, um, so, from my own doing, I wrecked the, pro I wrecked the program, and I had to fix it. Um, like, I had to call someone to fix it, because I couldn't play DVDs or music or nothing. This was, uh, way back back when, and I remember I had to call somebody to fix it, they had to go in and, like, whatever they did, they fixed it, but I caused that update that destroyed my computer, and then, because sometimes in our lives, we think things are updated and we think we're going to get better, but it turns out to, to be um, totally worse. Um, even when we, we, uh, we jumped into it ourselves thinking that this is going to be great. And then sometimes we get advice that maybe you shouldn't do that, but we still do it anyway. And sometimes those updates are not great. Sometimes they're disasters. And he says, he, he says, he, God says, even though you jumped into this update, you thought you were updating and it was a mess, and you got all, all these warning signs that it would be a mess, but you still did it. Um, I'm reversing those updates today. He said, I'm giving you a new God date, not an update. He's saying, I'm giving you a new God date. He's, he's taking back the time that even you, through your own stupidity, did stuff that you shouldn't have done, and you know you did stuff that you shouldn't have done, but he is... He's going to redeem the time for those updates. He's going to give you not an update, but a God date. Um, and then there are those updates that um, other people get us into. Like, um, like there was another, another time, not this time, but there was another time where I was in uh, Windows had automatically updated just like this time, but they they updated my uh, like kind of uh, spy sweeper program, my com computer cleaning program. And it knocked out the whole internet. And there again, although it wasn't my fault, I had to get somebody 
to come and fix that update uh, that was foisted on me. Um, and then it, it got my computer going and go, it got my internet going again. So even though that wasn't my fault, that, that time, that computer update wasn't my fault, it still held me back, um, at some point. And there's nothing like this week to understand what I, I took for granted with my computer. It, like, I took for granted that it would come up, that the program would come on, everything would be there, everything would be set. Um, but without that one little program, um, my computer still works, but it's hard for me to see. And so far, um, there are some times in your life where things are still working, but they're hard for you to see. You're not seeing clearly. You're feeling your way in the dark. You're, you're trying to find where your mouth is. You're trying to find out where to click. You're not seeing clearly. And the Lord says, through this up, up God date he's going to give you, you will see clearly again. And for those of you who are now concerned that, that um, my computer is too small or uh, what is, is going to happen to her, well, on Tuesday someone again is going to um, help me fix it. And uh, one, of the, one of the computer technicians at the center I go to, and he said that he's going to fix it. So the Lord wants me to say he's the, t the computer technician today. He's going to fix, he's going to do a, a God date to your bad update, your, your bad mistakes, whatever you've done in your life, he's got a solution for it. When I was stressing out about all this, the Lord brought those two times that I, that I, um, s said to my memory, those two times that I gave the examples, the first time of the music thing and the second time of the internet thing that I gave the examples of, the Lord brought them back to my memory. And he said, just like I was with you in those times, Rachel, I will be with you in this. And he says, um... He says, some of you have had memory lapses, but he's bringing back to your memory where, what he did for you in the past. So not that you could live there, but so that you could remember that he, he brought you out of darkness before, and he'll bring you out of darkness again. Hallelujah. This dark place, won't last forever. This dark place will not last forever. This computer glitch, this glitch in your life, this, uh, this, this situation in your life, this snafu in your life, won't, won't last forever. It's only temporary to teach you first who you are and who he is. He wants you to know that you can trust him in every situation, that he's with you 
in every situation. He says, it's time for the Bible to not just be words. It's time for you to not just listen to preachers and say, oh, that's good word. He wants to give you your own Bible story. He wants to give you your own witness of how he was with you in the dark. He doesn't want you to, to... Peter and Paul and all those people are examples about how he could work and move in people's lives. But he doesn't want to stop there. He wants to give you your own examples of how he works in your life. He wants to give you your own stories, your own testimonies about how he works in your life and how he, um, how he will do what he said he will do. He just loves you so much today, brother and sister. He just wants you to know that he is with you. It may seem dark. It may seem like you don't know what, what you're doing. You can kind, you, you, you are kind of like me. The screen, it seems small and you can't see much of anything, but whatever he's doing right now, it is for your good. And all things are working together right now for your good. Because you love him and you're the called according to his purpose. The, all of this is working for his purpose, not yours. All this is working for a story, for a story that you will tell of his goodness. And next week, at the same time, or, or somewhere thereabouts, I will share with you the rest of the story. What's going to, what is happening with my computer, with my physical computer. Um, I will tell the testimony of what what God God did, however it turns out. But I know, however it turns out, God's got me and he will never let me go. And God's got you too. And he will never, ever, ever let you go. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you think you've done. You, it doesn't matter what, whether you think it's over. God loves you too much to leave you now. I'm going to say that again. No matter what mistakes you've done, no matter what you think you've done, no matter who you think you are, God loves you too much to leave you now. He will not leave you. Just because you don't feel him doesn't mean he's left you. It means that he's um, walking this road of trust with you. He's saying, trust me, daughter. Trust me, son. I'm with you. And it may not feel good, but it doesn't mean it is good. It isn't good for you. Because sometimes life is like vegetables, especially okra. I don't like okra. It's slimy. It tastes nasty. But I know it's good for me. Sometimes the things that are good for you don't taste good to you. And this doesn't taste good to me. But I know in the end, it will be a story that will be good for me. It'll be something that I can tell people. So guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, remember to... Um,
share this with someone you think might um, benefit from it. Um, remember to, if you want, you can you can uh, like or comment or 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 just you know do what you do. Um, thank you guys. I, I hope this story encouraged you. And next week I will tell you what went on with my computer. So the story continues. Bye guys. Walking around these walls I thought by now they'd fall For you have never failed me yet Waiting for change to come Knowing the battles won, for you have never failed me yet. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You never failed me yet. I've seen you move. You move the mountains, and I believe. I'll see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way. And I believe I'll see you do it again. I know the night won't last. Your word will come to pass. My heart will sing your praise again. Jesus, you're still now. Keep me within your love. My heart will sing your praise. No, for you have never failed me yet. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You know. I'm seeing you move. You move the mountains, and I believe I'll see you do it. Again, you made a way where there was no way, and I believe I'll see you do it again. But for you, and for you old schoolers, I don't know if you know this one, but you may feel down and feel like God has somehow forgotten. But you are faced 
with circumstances that you cannot get through. Right now it seems that there's no way out and you're going under. But God's proven time and time again He'll take care of you. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. Just take a look at where you are now and where you have been. He'll always come through for you. He's the same now as then. You may not know how, and you may not know when, but he'll do it again. He's God knows the things you've been going through, and how you are hurting. He understands just how your heart has been broken in two. He's the God of the sun, the moon, the stars. He is your father. He'll calm your storm and he'll find a way to take care of you. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Just take a look at where you are now and where you have been. He'll always come through for you. He's the same now and then. You may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again. He's still God, and he will not fail you. I know he's still God. He has not changed. He's still God, and he's fighting for you, just like Moses, and like Daniel, and like Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. <laughs> Sorry. He'll, he'll do it again. He'll do it again. Just take a look at where you are now and where you have been. He'll always come through for you. He's the same now as then. You may not know how and you may not know when, but he'll do it again. You may not know how, and you may not know when, but he'll do it again. Bye, guys. I'll see you either later this week or next week. And I'll tell you what happened with my computer. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.